Hi everyone! In this part I will tell how I made the suspension for buggy from player unknown's battlegrounds. So all the suspension will be assembled on silent block from the car. I will start working with the rear levers. I'm going to make an A-form lever. For the bushings I need to make a timbering to the frame. It will be U-shaped brackets, which I made from a slab of 40 mm. I initially refused from ordinary ears, which were welded to the frame. A U-shaped timbering is universal. It has its own platform and can be welded to the vertical tube. I made so cuts according to the making on the slab they were needed to slightly bend the ears. I decided not to round them off. Just cut off the sharp corners. I bent the slab at the table each at 90 degrees. After the bracket would be welded on the frame, the place of the bend will be welded. Also, for reliability, in some places they would be welded guests especially on upper levers. I marked holes on the brackets. My drilling machine has not rigging construction and a large drill is taken off a site as a rule. So in case it would not happen, I drilled this with a thin drill. I put the bar in the bracket so the ears could not contract under the pressure and the drill wouldn't go aside. After working with the brackets, I cut the rings for the rubber bushings by a homemade cutting-off machine. I would use a tube of 43 mm according to the outside diameter. The cutting-off machine limiter will be fixed on 35 mm. I cut many bushings for the whole projects at once. Each ring must be reduced in diameter by cutting out a segment with a grinding machine. I compressed the ring with vise and welded the cut. I strengthened the ring with a hammer until almost a smooth circle with an inner diameter of 32 mm. I hammered the wooden pieces in the ring at once which I cut from the spade handle. They would be needed during the welding of levers to the conductor. If to extrude the rubber bushings right away, they would be burned from hot temperatures. Then I took the swivel member from a front-wheel drive car and the axle which would be shot at according to the hole in the member. I cut the axis in two parts and cut a step on each detail. I screwed the axis to the swivel member and put on tacks, then took off and welded through. The holes on the axis has diameter on 12 mm, and the bolts that are screwed in the member have diameter of 10 mm. Thus you can adjust the convergence of the rearmost axle. Now all details are ready for the production of the lower lever. I made a conductor for it. It will be universal. I will also weld front levers on it, but from a bit different details. I welded the bolts in and put on the MRI for Nexel. On the other side, I would weld ears which were needed for the rings timbering. I also wood the rings with the wooden insert on the Excel. I measured the distance between the bushings. More exact, I made a template from the ruler and marked the needful segment on the pipe of 26 mm in diameter. I put the pipes in the conductor and started to weld in. First I put on tacks when welded completely. Then I weld in a bridge between the tubes. According to this technology I made a left lever. After the levers cool down, I press the bushings, but first I ground down the inner hem of the circle with a rasp. As a lubrication, I used a liquid soap, but later still decided to take a solid oil, as the bushing didn't want to go in because of a small size of wise. To simplify the press fitting on the bushing, you can treat the skirting in the ring and the bushing will easily go in. For the axle I used standard bushings. I hammered them with a spacer made from the tube.
I screwed the earlier made brackets in the levers and in already assembled condition welded to the frame. All bolts and screws will be used from an ordinary car for reliability. I made it from the same strip. First I marked the lower holes. Before the upper lever production, we need to make a transfer bracket for the silent block. First I marked the bottom holes and drilled them. Then I put the bolt and marked the top hole. It would take 16 mm for adjustment on the wheel rake. I tightened the slabs and welded the mount of silent block. I welded another pipe to the frame and a bushing fastening on it. I put a swivel member forward approximately at 90 degrees from the floor position. I cut the pipe for the lever and welded the rings together. I pressed the bushing with homemade press. I put the lever on its place. I used the bolts for the levers from reactive truss from the car. I made a real lever sound paralleled. I welded the lever from the frame side down for some centimeters. I went by the book suspension and brakes by this hammer. I finished working with the rear suspension and moved to the front one. I bought steering knuckles from the rear wheel drive car, for which would be installed conversely because of initially installed short frame and impossible adjustment of the steering gear in a normal position. In order that suspension has only one gauge, I measured the distance between the frame middle and this timbering and transferred it on the front suspension. I also find out the distance till the ball caster. I'd make a timbering platform for it from two welded together slabs. I made a hole in the platform with a boring crown for metal. I didn't find a suitable one and made a hole a bit larger than it was needed. I aligned the support and marked fastener holes. I also made fabrication holes for the timberings to the conductor. You can control height of the slab with the use of nuts. I fitted the tubes on and cut a little timberings of the ball caster. For reliability, I made lateral cuts in the tube so they could move into the slab. Such connection would rather be more solid than just welding over tube to a slab. I connected all details by task and welded continuously. The front part of the frame has a contraction. I compensated this distance with a pipe of cut. I installed the ball caster and popped the steering knuckle upon it. To increase the inversion of wheel, we need to cut the lever pipe a little, but I will make it after the adjustment of the steering gear. I put on the upper ball caster and measure the distance from the hinge center till silent lock axle center. It turned out to be equal, it means that front levers would be parallel to each other. Finally, I managed to find a thick slab in my workshop from which I cut a timbering in the ball caster. From the same slab I saw two platforms which would help to regulate the wheel rake. To one of the slabs I welded a silent block timbering, constricted them with nuts and welded to the frame. At these shots you can see that such system cannot possibly exist on the front suspension. Silent block is soft and has free move. The wheel will dangle and hit the steering gear that will affect the control. First I thought about an A4 on lever, but it wouldn't look like original. The upper bushing should be changed either on the bearing, which is hard to do, or on the screw bushing, which I finally choose. What is the screw itself? In fact, it's the same sliding bearing, but it consists of the bearing with a thread and a stud with a hole for a mounting bolt. Its diameter is 32 mm, which exactly fits the rings of the lever. The connection would be rigid, and I decided to reinforce the ring with a narrow slab.
I drilled the hole for a screw fit grease cap through which the threaded bushing would be surrendered. After this, I tried to press the bushing, but I didn't come out because of a weak jack screw. I just drive in it with a hammer through a distance bar. I missed with the hole a screw fit grease cap and had to make a new one nearby. I put the lever on its place. I swayed the swivel member and the result quite satisfied me. We'll see how it will act in the process. In any case, it won't take long to remake the upper lever for another silent block. Thanks everyone for your attention, likes and comments. Wish you success and positive vibes. See you in the next part.